So guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to take your headshot from looking like this to this. It's called the mirror effect. It's an extra step to take in order to make your image look more eye-catching and appealing. With no further ado, let's get started. So we are going to delete all these layers and go step by step in creating the whole process from beginning. The first thing you have to do is to duplicate the background layer. You can duplicate by right clicking and clicking on duplicate layer or dragging the background layer to this plus icon down here to create the background copy. You rename this to subject. After that, we are going to select the subject from the background. This can be easily done using the select subject. So why quick selection tool is being selected, you click on the select subject. Now after creating the selection round, we come down here and create a max. Now convert the subject to smart object. Now you come down here and create a solid color layer and then choose any color you want to use. Let's use a dark greenish blue for this. Now click on OK. Now this part of the selection is not all right, but we will not care about that since it's not going to show in the final image. So now come to the subject, Ctrl T for transform. You scale and resize as shown. Now click on OK. The next thing we have to do is to bring up the ruler. Like you come to view and uh, click on rulers to bring up the ruler. And now we are going to create a center point by dragging this horizontal ruler to the middle. It will snap at the middle. If it's not doing that, come to your view and click on snap. Now come to this one and also do the same thing. And then you snap at the exact middle. This to make sure that our headshot, that is the first section of the headshot, is below the center of the image. So you control T to transform and move it slightly like this to make sure it's below the center of the image. The next thing we are going to do is to duplicate this subject. So right click and click on duplicate layer. You rename accordingly. It's going to be called subject copy. Now you control T, that is you press control T on your keyboard. And then to bring up the anchor point, you come here and click here to bring up this small icon. If you click on it, that is you toggle it off, you see that nothing is showing here. But if you toggle it on, you see that this small icon is showing here, which is the anchor point. So you move it to this center where the horizontal and the vertical line intercept. So now you right click on your image and then rotate 180 degree. Voila. That's exactly how the magic is done. Now you click on OK. The next thing we are going to do is to add a, a watermark or a logo. This case is Slammy Photography. You use your own name or trademark or whatsoever. Now you click on OK. Press Ctrl T on your keyboard. And then you align accordingly. Now you click on OK. You come to your view and clear guards. And this was the before, this is the after. You can resize this image or change the font size 
or font type to whatever you think is desirable, always looking more appealing to you. The final thing you are going to do is on this solid layer, one on this solid layer, you come to your layer and create a new layer. And I'll make sure you're on overlay, fill with overlay neutral color, click on OK, come to filter, noise, add noise, and then amount should be seven. You can leave it on a uh, uniform or Gaussian blue, but make sure the monochromatic is ticked. And I'll click on OK, come to filter, blow, Gaussian blow. Set the blur reduce to 0 0.3. Now click on OK. If you zoom in and double before and after, you see that the before the solid color was completely smooth and the after we have some fine grain in the background. This will avoid something called banded or chromatic abrasion in your image. If you don't know what that is, check the link in the description for more explanation or you can google that out. So that is all there is to this tutorial. Make sure you like and subscribe to this channel. Check the description for helpful links to free lots, presets and photography tutorial. Happy to be part of your creative journey. See you in another amazing tutorial.